My friends at Mingda wanted me to review their D2 3D printer. I took a look at it and on paper, this machine looks fantastic. It's got all the bells and whistles from a removable build plate, a direct drive extruder, filament out sensor, two motors running the Z so it stays stable, and super quiet stepper drivers, all for only about $200. On paper, this almost looks too good to be true. And whenever I see that, I always wonder, what's the catch? Where are they cutting the corners? Is this machine just going to print so garbage? But you know what? I decided to give them the benefit of the doubt and told them to send it over so I could check it out. And I sent it to my friend for a review, somebody who you might have already heard of, the always immaculately dressed builder of robots and featured on the latest cover of Make Magazine, Odd J. Jorvan Moss. And Jay sent me back this interesting package. I'm, I'm not really sure. Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's, oh, it's interesting. I, I, huh, got a lever here. Oh, yeah, I got it. Hey, Internet. Hi, I'm Jay. Um, I'm a self-taught tinker from the year 2021, if anyone's from the future, just in case some of you guys are. Jay, I think your thing permanently burned your visage into my retina, which isn't the worst thing to have to look at for the rest of my life, but not what I would have chosen. Let's just go on, Jay. How'd the unboxing go? The unboxing went pretty good. It was kind of difficult at first because I've never built or put together a printer that was already mostly put together. It literally only took a few minutes to figure out and install everything. I'm so used to printers coming in multiple parts. This was very fast, very quick, and really easy to do. Okay, it's starting to fade now. Were there any issues with the unboxing? The main problem it took me a lot to overcome was definitely, 100%, the language barrier. I mean, seeing it and actually trying to put this together, if this was my first printer, I probably would be very frustrated. But as a more experienced printer user, as you can guys can kind of tell, it was okay. It wasn't that bad. It was very... It took me a minute to get used to it, but once I got used to it, it was great. So I assume after that that you set up the slicer and got the printing with it. Setting up the slicer was pretty pretty easy. I didn't have that much hard trouble getting it together. Um, I did print my own print, of course, and you're probably holding the print right now in your hand. I printed the entire print using all this printer. It came out great. I didn't have any real issues. And one thing about this printer that I love, it's very quiet. As a person who's always working on something, having a printer that is quiet is great. Yeah, and overall, it's it's really kind of impressive. I mean, credit goes to the designer as well, but this printer really is kind of surprising me. And would you recommend this printer, or more accurately, who would you recommend this printer to? If I had to recommend this printer to anyone, I would definitely recommend it to a more experienced 3D printer user. Not saying that it's not great for a starter printer, but... I feel like there's a small barrier and skill set when it comes to something like this. Like your first printer, I do believe it should be already previously built and just done for you. And then you level up from there. It feels like a very good leveling up printer. 100% recommend. Would definitely give to one of my friends if I had to. A good leveling up machine. I like that. I like that a whole lot. Well, thank you very much, Jay. You've given me a lot to think about. All right. That's all you need. This is Jay signing off. Well, wow, and it looks like Jay is going to be using this to make some amazing things. I'm really excited to have put it into his hands, but overall, I'm, I'm really impressed with this machine. I mean, a low price, a, a relatively big build volume, and great features that make it easy to use. It loses a little bit for, you know, that first-time user experience that it doesn't provide, and for the fact that it's maybe not the best first-time user printer, but overall, I punch these numbers into my calculator, and I get a sm Oh, actually, I do! Look at that! That's adorable! Well, big thanks to Jay, and I hope that you guys will check him out. I'll have links to all of his socials in the description. If you don't already know Jay and his work, you should absolutely get to know him, and Big thanks for this thingy. Actually, I got an idea here. Let me see if I can hack into its Bluetooth. Oh, yeah. This thing's got some possibilities in the future. 
Well, thank you guys very much for watching. If you want to know more about this printer, check out the link in the description. And as always, I want you to remember safety first because I care about you. And I'll see you next time. Thanks, Jay. Thank <laughs> you.